episode of Beyond Beauty by CJ Jimenez. Thank you po sa lahat na subscribe and because of that, we will start sharing with you our techniques, the tools, and the trainings that I normally do when I uh, have the basic makeup and advanced makeup workshop for my clients. No? And um, today, what we'll be having is the basic makeup workshop. Please subscribe, like, and follow our channel because there will be a lot in store for you. So, ang first step natin, ang makeup is just pang-enhance yan. Pero pinaka the best pa rin is that you have good skin. So, it's very important to know basic skincare. So, with my clients, I always say po, no, minsan tayo mga makeup artist, nahihingan tayo ng milagro, no? Minsan, kulang na lang at uh, sabihin natin, hindi po tayo ang poon. Hindi po tayong poong may kapal. So, dapat sinasabi natin sa ating mga clients, sa inyo po ng mga magme-makeup ngayon, pinaka-importante pa rin po, naalagaan niyo po muna yung skin ninyo para hindi po ganang kadami yung makeup na i-apply ninyo at hindi po kayo yung mahirap, mahirapang mag-enhance. So, pinakauna po sa basic skin care is that know the type of your skin. So, ito yung mga basic or mga normal na skin types na especially sa mga Filipinos or Asians like us. First is the oily skin. Next is the dry skin. And then there is also the normal combination and yung acidic or nagde-deoxygenate na skin. So yung oily, so normally yan. So what you can do, paano mo ba malalaman kung ano ang iyong skin type? Uh, without uh, putting anything on your face, just wash it with... Um, cold water, ano. And after 15 minutes, if you notice na talagang nag-oily siya, nang wala ka namang nilagay, nag-oily siya, ibig sabihin, nag-shine siya from here, the whole face, then definitely, it's oily. And if, if you tend to have breakouts, ano, ayan, and acne, then definitely, nasa oily po tayo na category. Ang next natin is dry. So, yung dry is kahit wala kang nilagay, unless gumagamit ka ng mga talagang pampapil na mga, mga soap, ano, and yung mga koji, yung mga pampil dyan, syempre, definitely, magda-dry yan. But, kung normal naman, pero nagda-dry ka, ibig sabihin, yung, yung, yung skin dito parang medyo itchy, tapos parang binabana, tapos makikita mo medyo flaky, then definitely you have the dry skin. Next is that normal. So kapag kapag wash mo ng face and normally wala naman, eto po, kayo po ang mga pinagpala ng Panginoon. <laughs> Ayan po, ibig pong sabihin normal ang skin ninyo. Next naman, which is very common, is the combination. Ibig sabihin, yung dito, it's either normal or kaya naman po dry, yung dito sa side na to ng face. And, pero dito po sa T-zone, is nag-oily siya. So, normally tayo ganun, yung, yung T-zone natin, ibig sabihin, dito sa forehead and dito sa nose, is nag-oily siya. Next naman, yung sinabi kong acidic or deoxygenate, nagdi-deoxygenate, ibig pong sabihin is that yung normally po, pag nagput ka ng makeup, kakulay mo naman ngayon. Pero after a few minutes, no, or uh, in an hour, nag-gray siya or nag, uh, nag, uh, nag iba po yung kulay, nagda-darken siya. And ito po, normal po to. Hindi po to yung acidic na yung sigmura nyo po ay nag uh, na ngangasin po, no? Ito po yung ibig sabihin na nangangat, nangingitin din yung mga jewelry ninyo, lalo na yung mga silver nangingitin. Then definitely, uh, you have acidic skin. So, bakit po ba important malaman itong ating types of skin? Kasi lahat po dapat ng products na gagamitin ninyo is that naka-base po sa inyong type ng skin. Normally kasi tayong mga Pilipino, bibili, ah, ito, uso, ay, in-endorse ni, ni ganyan, ng paborito kong artista, bibilin ko. Ah, ito, padala ni Tita from Canada, gagamitin ko. Tapos, pagkukombine-combine din yung gamit, hindi alam yung isa pang oily, yung isa pala pang dry. Ito pala ay gawa sa... Uh, uh, product na gawa sa isang country na hindi naman pala kasing humid ng Pilipinas, ano? So, yun, nagmamatter din yun. Uh, meron po mga tao na katulad ko na dito po oily ako, pero pagdating ko sa ibang bansa, na sa siya, sa ibang bansa. Pag po nasa malalamig akong countries, nagda-dry po talaga yung skin ko, nag-iiba po siya. So, yun din, nag-factors din po yun sa mga products na gagamitin niyo So, halimbawa ako, iba rin yung pag makeup ko ng client na kakagaling lang ng ibang bansa tapos dumating dito kasi definitely nag-iiba yung skin nila or kaya nagbabago din pagka nasa malamig na uh, weather kami or nasa 
mainit na weather. So, all of those are factors. So, bukod dyan sa basic skincare, knowing your type of skin because you this will determine the products that you're going to use. Um, easy lang po yung step, no? Cleansing, toning, moisturizing, blocking, and then exfoliate. So, these are the five steps. So, cleansing, yun po yung regular na pag-wash ng face natin, no? To remove the impurities, yung mga dirt, ano? And that is yung kapag naliligo tayo, nag-wash tayo ng face, or kung hindi man tayo naligo, nag-wash tayo ng face pag dating. So, cleansing. Next, yung toning naman natin is yung gumagamit tayo ng mga toner. So, the toner is to make sure that we have smooth and one tone sa skin natin, ano? Yung para talagang yung mga part na oily or yung part na dry at least maging clean canvas po siya for us. So, we will introduce to you some of the toners that we use but also it's a range of products. No? Again, because this is not a sponsored uh, tutorial po or uh, workshop series. And then it's very important that you moisturize. So, common uh, mistake po natin is that we think that if oily ka na, hindi ka na kailangan mag-moisturize. Actually, moisturize or the hydration of the skin. It's also about controlling enough moisture. So, if you, if you are already oily, ang kaibahan lang po is that you will use a water-based product po that will not add to the moisture but will just regulate, regulate the proper moisture to your skin. And also, pag syempre dry, and remember that as we age, yung collagen production po natin, parang yung elasticity ng skin natin to make sure that uh, we have uh, younger looking skin, nag-slow down na rin po yan. So, it's very important na mag-moisturize ka. Yung iba naman po, ay wala pa rin ako wrinkle, hindi pa ako mag-moisturize. Uh, wrong po yan. Remember that the basic skin care is pro for prevention. So, kung may nandyan na yung mga uh, wrinkles mo, nandyan na yung mga skin problem mo, hindi na po yan as much as possible makokorek. May iba na po mga procedures kaya po may mga treatments na na nire-recommend. Because uh, ang gagawin na lang po ng moisturizer is that i-avoid niya na mag karoon pa ng mas maraming wrinkles. No? But of course, as early as um, 25, 20 to 25 years old, pwede na po kayong mag-start ng moisturizer. Yan. Blocking. So, ito po yung sunblock. So, again, minsan ang common mistake po natin is that hindi naman ako pupunta sa beach, hindi naman ako lalabas, magsasunblock na lang ako. Or kaya magpapayong na lang ako. Ayan. So, remember po na yung sunblock po is for UV rays po. So, it's not only from the sun, but of course, yung pinaka... Uh, source po ng aging ng skin natin is yung sun damage po. But also, kahit po yung mga computer, yung mga lights, meron po rin yung mga UV and harmful rays. So, kung talaga po we want a youthful and uh, talagang magandang skin longer, then definitely we have to, to block every day. And of course, minsan, kailangan po natin yung i-reapply. Especially kung napawisa na po tayo or kaya po ay talagang napupunasan natin madalas yung skin natin and ngayon po kaya with the new normal kahit po nakashield tayo or nakamask po tayo minsan po yan is na, na will wipe off po so we really need to reapply it yung exfoliation naman po is yung pag remove ng dead skin sa ating face so that is um, recommended twice a month Ang common mistake naman po natin is that we over-exfoliate. Yan po yung ang daming peeling, gustong pumuti, kahit po ang habdi-habdi na ng muka, nag -e exfoliate uh, We will also have uh, more detailed, um, another series about on how you you know whether the product is too much or damaging na sa'yo. Kala mo puputi ka, yung pala nagkaroon ka ng mga melasma. So, ayan naman yung mga nagkakaroon ka ng mga brown spots, tapos yung pula-pula na yung face mo. Kasi yung nag-over exfoliate ka. Yan. So, again, cleanse every day. Twice a day po yan. Or if you're very oily po and you're, you're prone to go out, no? Kung exposed kayo, nagmomotor, or kaya po is talagang gumabiyahe kayo, baka kailangan nyo po three times yan. So, magbaon po kayo ng cleanser. And then, the toner is that, um, ayun po, every after nag-cleanse ka, mas maganda kung nagtotoner ka. Moisturize is also daily, twice a day, morning and in the evening. Sunblock is uh, everyday din po and reapply as needed. Exfoliation po is one to two times a month lang po. So, ibig sabihin, every two weeks. And of 
course, we also need to make sure that we sleep well. So, kahit ano pong kadaming product, isang daang product man yan, kung kayo po ay nagpupuyat, you are not giving your body the chance to replenish your cells. No? So, yung mga mga dark spots po natin dito yung mga lalim ng mata, mga patay na cells po yan na hindi po natin nare-replenish. So, make sure that you have 8 to 10 hours of sleep every day. And also, eat healthy po. Wala pong, uh, wala pong uh, kahit po sang katerbang vitamins ano, ang iniinom ninyo. If you don't eat healthy or if you cannot really eat healthy, supplements is, is really good. But of course, it's really combination of healthy eating habits. And of course, exercise po. I know I'm also, it's really hard, no, exercise. But just 15 to 20 minutes of daily exercise or 3 times a week is really good because kapag nag exercise po tayo, lumalabas po yung mga toxins, yung mga uh, uh, kailangan pong ilabas ng body natin through our sweat. And, pinaka-importante po is manage your time. Kasi hindi nyo po magagawa lahat ito kung hindi nyo po i-manage ang time niyo. You have to have the time to take care of your skin, cleansing, toning, moisturizing, sunblock, and then exfoliate uh, every day or e uh, twice a month for the exfoliation. You need the time to sleep well, avoid stress, and eat healthy, and of course, exercising. And that's it for our basic skin.